Hello everyone, I am Greed, and today we're playing Satisfactory, but more importantly we are addressing an issue that I was having trying to set up some water extractors. Now this is a small water plant I built next to my, this is a uh, power plant, and uh, there's a, um, four, six, eight, there's 12 extractors in here, 12 or 13, I can't remember. Anyway, if you pay close attention to the way these extractors are situated, they're situated on top of these foundations. Now, yes, I did fill in all of these foundations. I'm sure someone's going to point, in that, point that out. However, I did not fill them all in after the extractors were placed. Uh, more specifically, you will notice at what level the foundations sit. The foundations sit partially submerged, so the top of it looks dry. Okay, now the way I achieved this is I placed a row of foundations and then set the extractors on them. Alright, partially, and I'll show you that right here. You'll notice I can place this right here on the uh, foundation. Now you can only do it partially, but if you'll see there, just a very specific reference, as soon as it gets done loading up, alright, that I was able to place that water extractor on the foundation, and then we can fill that floor in. So now it actually looks like it's sitting on the foundation, okay? Now, the issue I was having the other day was I'm trying to build a dedicated water plant. You know, all it does is produce water uh, in order to be transported by train to other sites. And I was running into some issues. At first, the, the train station was actually level with the tracks. Okay, So, I went level with the tracks, and because these tracks were all built off of a, the same I'm going to describe this very poorly but they have the base, same basic scaling I don't know if the entire game has the same basic scaling but because these tracks were all built by the same person they all have um, they're consistent alright so basically this entire plant was built off those tracks so by coming over here and these tracks were placed by running these horizontal uh, metal frames and then running the tracks over them and then building the pedestals underneath them. Which means these tracks were all the same level. Which means that over there should be equivalent to this over here. Basically. But I explain all that and only to point out that when I first started this, the train station was down here level, alright, with the tracks. And I came down to the water level, put the foundation down, figuring I would build this exactly the same way I built that one over there. However, it did not work out that way. Um, it would help if I actually had the uh, right tab up. See, the extractors will not place here on top of the foundation. No matter what you do. You can turn around however you want to. They will not allow you to place them. Okay, and I'll move this over here so it'll be out of the way. If you notice when you place this, you see where the uh, metal walk rail is at? It is inside the foundation. Now, if you get it to where it will actually pop up on top of the foundation, which is right here, you'll notice now that metal walking plate is on top. It will not allow you to place it here. Okay. And so after a lot of irritation, um, first I tried raising the uh, train station up, which is why it's now up here, uh, a full two uh, walls higher. I figured that it was too low, that the extractor was clipping into the top of it, which I should have realized is not actually the case because you can't actually build them. Um, with it clipping into a top level, as long as it's not clipping into another piece of equipment. So that didn't solve the issue. 
and after reaching out on the forums, some people suggested some things that worked for them. But it wasn't addressing my issue because my issue wasn't that I was trying to place straight extractors, though I am. My issue was that I was trying to place them specifically onto a foundation like this. Um, and their methods tend to always, which I didn't get one of them working, so it may have eventually fixed this issue, but um, the other one just ended up putting the foundations underneath the uh, extractor, which wasn't what I wanted, number one. And number two, I already built it one way over there and it worked fine. Why wouldn't it work over here? So after a lot of trial and error and a lot of exasperation today, I decided, you know what? I'm going to extend a whole line of foundations over here just to see if the, that level of foundation right there is exactly the same as that. That's why there's a row of foundations all the way over here. I know it's a pretty crude method, but what I found is that these are indeed exactly the same level. So I was like, well, on a whim, I just popped out the extractor and just kind of slid all the way down these uh, tracks. And if you'll notice, with me hovering right here, I can place the extractor on top of that foundation. All right, I can place it on top of this foundation. And all the way over to here. But if you'll notice something very interesting, once I get about right there, it will no longer sit on top of the foundation. And if I come in just a little bit, it pops right back up on the foundation. So I begin to realize the issue is not the foundation level, nor is it the collision physics of the extractor. The issue is the water level. After a certain depth, the extractor will drop down just enough that it won't actually sit on top of the foundation. It's slightly shallower and it will fit on the foundation. So, therein, I do not, therein is that the actual problem that caused the issue that I was having. Um, I don't know if that's intentional or not intentional, uh, but I figured I'd make a video about it um, and post it, uh, and post a link to it in the forums so that a bunch of people can debate about it while I go on building my water extraction plant. But therein is the thing. I don't know if they specifically wanted the extractor to sit lower in deeper water. It doesn't seem to make a lot of sense considering the fact that um, the collision box doesn't actually, as far as I can tell, isn't actually hitting the um, the uh, ground down there, even here, it might hit the ground over there in that small place because that, that water's really shallow. But over here, it's certainly not. So I'm not sure why it's working like that. But anyway, this that's my video. I agree. I hope this was useful to someone. Um, again, I do not know the water level. But if you get the foundation sitting about just like that, how it appears, this should work for you if you want to achieve that look of the extractor sitting on top of the foundation. Apparently, I just got extremely freaking lucky when I tried it over there and it just happened to work. And I didn't know why it was working versus why it wouldn't work over here. Uh, anyway, hopefully this is helpful and I'll stop ranting now. Good luck.